Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Flight. Now it's nearly Christmas, so we are going to be trying to get our letter to Santa in the most efficient engineered way by turning it into a paper airplane. Oh, well, hang on, hang on. There's actual, there's a story that is a letter to Santa. I was just making that bit up. Okay, well, apparently that is what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I should like write a game or something. I come up with these ideas easy. So we picked up the plane. We got to throw it. Uh, as it says there, collecting stars will give you cash. So as we fly through stars, oh, we're getting five quid every single star. That's not bad. Holy Santa pays well. We got 43 quid for that. We threw it 45 meters and collected four stars. Okay, next. So we'll go again. I don't know if I can like, I'm scared to like launch my mouse off the table, but ready? Oh, that was, that seemed really bad. But, oh no, 29 meters. Whoa, but we got loads of stars. So 62 quid. Nice. And now we have 105 quid. We can spend some cash in the shop. So we can make ourselves lighter, make ourselves better aerodynamic. I think I'm going to give myself some flight control though. Let's buy that. And we'll improve our aerodynamics as well. So, well, since there's a star there, I, I guess I want to throw through that, right? Anyway, annoyingly, I'm playing this on an emulator and you've got to tilt your device. I've tried tilting my entire PC, but nothing happened. So this time we're going for the diagonal approach, the 45 degree. So, huh? Oh, that, that looked pretty good. We only got 23 quid that time. Still, in the shop, we're going to improve our throwing power. It's going to cost 120 of our 128 quid. But I think it's worth it. Yes. So now, huh? we only got 37 meters, but we did collect 10 stars that time, which means money. Now, the trouble is we started throwing this in London and we're still in London. So it's going to take a hell of a lot more throwing until finally we have enough to buy the fire engine, uh, which basically gives us the ability to boost by tapping the screen. It's not it's not like going to put any fires out. It's not that sort of fire engine. So we're up there. I reckon boost. Oh, look at the fuel go down. We are flying. So we got record distance traveled of 73 meters and we got 86 quid, which means it's probably worth upgrading us to be more lightweight because uh, that means it will take longer for us to drop. All right, so we're flying right now. Hit the fire burner. We got 106 quid that time. We are finally raking it in. I don't know who is paying me for all this. Is this like the equivalent of like buying a stamp? Now we've only got 433 meters though, so it's pretty pricey way to travel. Yeah, but I feel like I should probably focus my upgrades on aerodynamic because uh, this reduces the air resistance, which basically means our speed will last longer. And surely a faster plane means, well, a plane that travels further, right? Boosh! Hit the engine, we're out of fuel. We got 81 meters, not too bad. Well, we just hit a windmill, which means we've gone flying into the air again. And a crane, which gives us two times bonus for any stars we hit. So new records all around and we got 147 quid. So we'll spend that on another lightweight upgrade. And we're just 10 centimeters away from traveling a very nice distance. Now this time I want to try and go high. I'm going to launch it straight up, use all my fuel straight away. And then just hope that we hit a windmill. Oh, we're so close. But at least we finally hit the number for the amount of cash we got that time. Nice. And we get very close to a thousand meters, which means we're going to level up and leave London. Finally made it to France. And we've actually got 445 quid. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to upgrade my throwing power for 240 quid. Yep. And oh, look at this. We are in France. It's so different to London anyway. Let's see if there is anything else in the sky. Let's hit our booster. Oh, that is some speed. We've got to get 2,500 meters to leave Paris. And oh, look at the three stars in a the line there, right? I'm going to throw it up that way. And then boost up. Oh, we are the height. This is the highest we've ever been. We are flying for ages. We got the crane with the times two. We just missed the windmill. But look at that. Best distance traveled ever and the highest altitude ever. And 126 quid to show for it. Now that means we can afford way more upgrades, like a better model. 500 quid. I think we will take that. Yes, please. And now look at our plane. Ooh. And if I learn anything, it's that we need to go straight up almost, like 45 degree in that corner. So, huh, and then boost. All right, we are soaring at a nice altitude. Oh, we got twice as much fuel. So I can boost for ages. Look how far we're going. We've smashed all sorts of records. 212 quid for that. And we are flying through Paris. Oh, and we hit a windmill this time. So we've gone up again. I think this is going to be our longest distance by far. Yeah, 237 meters. Nice. Yeah, so we can afford all sorts of upgrades. I'm sort of thinking since I've got quite a bit of money, let's go for the throwing power level three. Because this time we have power. Oh, and we got a star. We got a lucky star. I don't know what that does, but it's surely good, right? 
Oh, we hit the windmill as well. Oh, the lucky... St is that because we hit the lucky start? Are we just lucky now? So yeah, two new records there. A load of cash. And we can afford quite a few upgrades. Like the lucky star, which increases the chance that a golden star will appear. Uh, however, I feel like I should probably spend things on maybe green fuel. So this makes my fuel last longer. 430 quid. Yeah, money well spent. All right, so let's see this bar here. This is our speed. Let's see how fast we can actually go. I'm not going to throw it up this time. I'm just going to throw forward. So huh. oh, that was a terrible throw. That was really bad. 25 meters a second. Pretty fast, actually. All right, can we go faster, though? That is the question. Oh, actually, yes, we are. 29 meters a second. We hit a lucky star as well, uh, which did slow us down, but it put us up in the air again. So we got a new furthest distance traveled, collecting 18 stars on our way. We went nine meters in the air. Time to spend some cash, I reckon. Oh, although we're only we're only a few quid off the better model. Sod it. We're going to save for the better model. Right, let's try and fling our way out of France. Uh, all right, have we done it? The bar is... Oh, it's 30 meters away. Still, we have a better model now. Let's buy that for 900 quid. And, oh, look at this one. We got like two tail fins. Uh, we've got three bars of fuel now. We're over 30 meters a second. And we are now out of France. See you later, Paris. Because we've arrived in Africa. If we're trying to aim for the North Pole, are we going the wrong direction from London? <laughs> Shouldn't we be going north? Anyway, I'll leave the navigation up to someone else. It's my job to do the engineering. So, huh, 45 degree up. Burn a bit of fuel, but then just coast. Then just coast. We're getting speed with the stars right now. Power, power, power. Oh, look at the flames up front. And we hit a windmill as well. That is engineering for you. Uh, that was our most stars collected as well. Very nice. So, no point doing the flight control because I literally can't use it. Uh, let's, let's upgrade our aerodynamics. All right, get the speed up. We're up to 30 meters a second. Oh, we hit a windmill as well. I'd love to see it. And now we're just coasting down. Nice landing. 352 quid. Not a bad day in the office, that. All right, this time I'm just powering all my fuel all at once. Oh, we hit a lucky star. That's what it's all about. And new records all around. 353 quid. Oh, thank you all. All right, so I've got enough money for more throwing power. So let's do that. And then let's huh, power up to 33 meters a second. We are pushing through the atmosphere. Flames at the front, even though we're a paper plane. Uh, we hit a windmill there as well. So we're back up in the air. We are absolutely flying 400 meters. Decent. Yeah, I think I've worked out the more speed you can get, the sort of better you go. So it's best to just burn all your fuel straight away. Get up to that 35 meters a second and then just enjoy the ride and hope you hit a windmill. Oh, I finally got the tilt controls to work. Oh, we can fly now. Oh, we're going to go so much further. So worth noting as I tilt, that does use fuel a bit. So I want to use sparingly, but I can boost myself up into the sky. Uh, we just got an achievement fly there. We went 20 meters into the air. Now I have no control. But, oh man, we're falling nosedive. <laughs> yeah, look how high we went. Look how many stars we got. And look how much money we have. Let's get back in the shop. Now, I'm tempted to get the green fuel, but I might actually save up for the for the fire engine. It will give us more boost. So we need another two or 300 quid. Oh, look, we just got a lucky star. We got to do a bit of gambling. Isn't that fun, kids? Anyway, we are cruising at five meters in the, in the atmosphere. Coming down for a landing. Oh, but no, we hit a windmill. So we're back up in the air. We got times three bonus on the cranes. Times four bonus. Look at the cash. Woo. <laughs> That is a lot more than we needed. So do we do the fire engine? I've noticed we're just 78 quid away from the better model. I mean, look how many wings it's got. I'm saving for the better model. Sod it. Oh, I just missed the star there. Oh, that was a lot of cash though. And we can finally afford the better model. 2,300 quid. But now look at us. We've got a propeller on the front. Is that going to be better? Oh, apparently it is, because look how much fuel we have. Let's go up. Let's go way up. Way, way up. Oh, no. Jet stream. Jet streams will push you back and cause you to lose speed. Where's the jet stream? I think we avoided it. We are now nosediving, though. Yeah, apart from altitude, that wasn't great. Still, if we just cheese it, we're up to 37 meters a second. Look at the flames out the front. <laughs> Our plane is going to burn up in the atmosphere. Oh, we just hit a star. Oh, and a dice again. Oh, gambling. Times five bonus. Got 25 quid for a few of those stars. And we're getting around 700 quid every single flight. Which means I can afford more upgrades. Which hopefully means I can fly further than ever. And then we're leaving Africa. And now our plane's landed in India. Which means we can give it another throw. 
And then suddenly we're hitting the most distance we've ever traveled in a single throw, 661 meters. Now that's actually a really long way to throw a paper plane. Fair play, Matt. But after a bit more throwing, we can finally afford the fire engine. Now that's now level two. So, oh man, look at the flame coming out the back there. So we're up to 40 meters, 50 meters a second. <laughs> no paper plane should travel that fast. I right, got 744 meters that time. I tell you what, India is a long place. We got 10,000 kilometers to cover. Now, I feel like using one bar to get to that height and then doing full power steam ahead, this could be the way to get the furthest we've ever gone. So we're up to 200 meters at the moment. We're collecting some good stuff, lots of money. The question is, how far are we going to go? Our plane's getting slower and slower. 360 meters. That wasn't great. Right, how about we use two bars to get up and then full power ahead. Do a bit of gambling. Oh, stars all round. What do they do? Oh, the stars. Whoa. So every star is giving us a boost. So that worked out very well. And that's the rainbow star upgrade. Once per flight, you can turn all stars into rainbow star. Oh, yeah. How do I do that? Oh, so I tap there. Okay, tap there. And now all the stars are rainbow stars. So if I power through, we won't be... Oh, we still get money as well. Look how fast we're going. And we've landed. We got... Only 288 meters traveled. We've got a new highest altitude, though. Still, I feel like that's going to come in very useful. So I can essentially use that to boost without boosting myself. Then we're going 16 meters a second, and I've still got, like, a third of my fuel left. So, boost power up to 40 meters a second. This is going to be a long flight, although altitude is failing us. Come on, windmill. Come on, windmill. Ah, oh, there was a windmill. We didn't hit it, though. We got a new distance traveled. I think it's time to upgrade our aerodynamics. Yes, please. So we got pretty far with the boost. 15 meters a second. Uh, let's, let's just go mental. Let's get rid of that. So 33 meters a second we're now traveling at. 10 meters in the air. All right, and we got a windmill, which means we get a little boost. We're going to hit 1,000 meters. Oh, we got the long haul achievement. That is a long ass flight. Fair play. So two new records that time. Nearly got a grand. Yeah, and we're halfway through India. I feel like this star bonus is probably the best one for distance. Yeah, this tactic seems to be working very nicely. So we get up to 200 meters, only using half of our fuel. And now we can go boosh through the sound barrier. And we're going 44 meters a second. We're still 10 meters in the air. We've just smashed through a thousand meters of distance. This is going to be a massive new record. We've just got an achievement called Inertia. Yeah, look at that. We hit a windmill as well. <laughs> No way. We could actually double our longest distance here. 1,800. We just hit another another windmill. <laughs> what are the odds of that? All right, this is one I don't think we're going to be beating for a while. 1,800 meter distance. 79 stars collected. We've got 1,700 quid in one flight. And we're nearly out of India. So let's head into the shop with our 3,400 quid. And as much as I want to save for a better model, I feel like the fire engine upgrade is absolutely insane. So let's get that. Now, that is now maxed out. So this is going to be the fastest engine ever. Boosh! All right, cheeky bit of gambling. Oh, I just missed out on the on the money. But now we can use our new engines. And uh, let's see how we get on this time. So we've smashed a 1,000 meters again. So maybe last time wasn't a fluke. If we can get another windmill. Ah, oh. Still, over a grand, I'm not going to complain. Particularly when I can afford to make myself even more lightweight. And just like that, we are out of India. And on to Japan. Ooh, look at Japan. Sadly, as soon as you're above the buildings, it all sort of looks the same. Just clouds and stars flying past. We're going at 44 meters a second, which means we're well over a thousand meters. And Japan's never looked so fast. And we're up to 3,140 quid, which means one more throw and we can probably afford a better model. And this time we're going to try something different. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my boosty thing. So we're going to use half to get to there. Another full one over to there. And now I'm going to tap and see... Oh, that actually slows my plane down. I went from 30 meters a second all the way down to nothing. So these boost stars, they, they sort of have a max limit. So perhaps day 69 isn't going to be as fun as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, that is not enough money. Still, I've got a new, new tactic. We go up, we get to about that height, and then we power, try and get our speed as high as possible, 36 meters a second. And then I guess we wait and see whether this drops at all. It looks like the speed just keeps going up. So doing the rainbow thing isn't going to be useful at any point, I don't think. We have to do it at the start. Oh, though it could be now. Yeah, let's hit it now. 
Oh, yes. Yes, that's pretty good. Up to 10 meters a second. So I think it all depends, the rainbow thing, whether you get the windmill or not as to when it's useful to do. Generally, I think it's more useful to do it straight ahead. Although I've just hit another windmill and a star. Still 1,300 meters. That's sort of rookie numbers, isn't it? Let's get the better plane model for 3,900 quid. Then let's see how this beauty flies. I mean, it fits in with Japan very nice. And we have five bars of fuel now, which basically means that once this runs out, I've got a whole two bars of fuel, if not more, if I want to use it. Let's uh, let's burn it. Boosh! We're up to 45 meters a second and at over 10 meters in the air. We're just hitting a thousand meter distance. This is much better. A 1500 meter flight. I'll take that, particularly when I upgrade my green fuel so we're much more fuel efficient. All right, now burn that green fuel. Burn it. 54 meters a second. That is the fastest we've gone so far. We're up to 62.8 meters a second. We are going so fast. My eyes, my eyes. Yeah, nearly 1,800 meters there. Very nice. I feel like we can do better though. All right, plane, hit it. Hit it. Nearly 60 meters. Yep, over 60 meters a second already. We're very low though. Perhaps I should have gone higher first. All right, I think it's time to max out the green fuel. Yes, please. Oh, now look how green our fuel bar is. So we're up pretty high now. I think I'll do the old rainbow thing straight off. Yeah, that's getting us some nice speed early on and a bit of gambling. Are we going to win something? No. Still, now I can hit the normal boosters. We're up to 56.8 meters a second and we're 15 meters in the air. This is going to be a big one. So we're coming in low. We're up to 1,800 meters, 1,900. Oh, that could be our best one yet. Yes, it is. 1,300 quid. So we'll spend that on some throwing power, I think. Because as we know, a faster plane means a further plane. Huh. Yep, we're up to 69. Nice. Meters a second. Oh, so close to 2,000 meters. Still, we've reached the end of Japan. And now we're on to a running track. I feel like at this point, it might be worth getting the crane booster. Because they give us a chance to boost our plane. I feel like the money we're getting them aren't very good. But we are collecting a lot. So the boost could be worthwhile. Let's level that up twice. And then let's see how that affects things. So huh, two bars up to there. Then we hit the boost. So now every star is boosting us. And the cranes, they will boost us a little bit as well. All right, now that's run out. We hit the full booster. We're up to 55 meters a second at 16 meter altitude. I'm quite interested to see how we'll land. Is Are we still on a running track? Oh my good. How long is this running track? It's at least 1800 meters long. Anyway, after another flight, we're up to nearly a nice, nice speed. But look at the distance. 2,500 meters. That's nearly 1800 quid. Anyway, tempted to get some of these upgrades, but I've just noticed this one, Monopoly. After every flight, you gain a 15% bonus on all the money collected. I feel like that'll pay for itself after a few runs. So I guess back to more thrown planes. And after lots and lots of throws, we actually have enough money for the Monopoly. However, I've just looked up the next upgrade. Fuel conversion gives you a chance to regain fuel whenever you collect a star could be game changing. The other thing as well, I've noticed this utilities button. Now, I've always heard the saying you got to spend money to make money. So I'm tempted to buy some of these. I think they're one use items. So if we just grab one of those three. Upgrade both of those two things. Also a bit of everything else. We're down to 66 quid. Hopefully this is money well spent. Um, and then I've landed at 2,500 meters. I have an emergency throw. So shall I use that? Oh, look, we're off again. We're off again. We have no fuel or anything. Although we're collecting a few stars. Uh, we did get a new record and we got nearly two grand for that. And I feel like maybe another 500 quid could be worth it. So I'm going to watch an ad. I'll see you guys on the other side. Oh yeah, free money just cost my time. Now, I will say I don't think the emergency throw is worth it. Mega Booster didn't seem to do a lot. I didn't use my magnetic paper. Um, but there you go. Combining that with the rainbow. Oh, yes. All the st No, the stars can't catch up with me. I'm too fast. Oh, that worked really well, though. All right, and now we've got all of our fuel to burn. So we're 35 meters in the air, 52 meters a second. That could actually be the combo that gets us far, although we keep hitting jet streams. Well, distance wasn't great, but look at the stars collected. That is money. Still, definitely not worth the 1,200 quid at this point, I don't think. Perhaps later on when we're going for the distance. Oh, no, we got five times crane bonus. If only I had the magnet now, that would be money. Anyway, after a lot more flights, day 98, we finally have 15 grand. But first, I've just found this. If I click on my plane, I can put the 
British flag on it, which means the UK Space Agency is back. So let's head into the shop. Let's buy the fuel conversion for 15 grand. And then remember, every star we get is a chance to return some fuel. So we sort of want to use up some fuel, probably up to about halfway. And then if we apply that one, we should see our fuel bar every so often jump up. Or perhaps it will just empty like normal. And I feel like that was a waste of money. Oh, no, look, we got fuel back. We have fuel back. Power. Because that's the good thing. There's always a chance to get fuel, even like late on in the game. Okay, so let's see. Will this bar go up at all? I mean, oh, look, we got times five bonus as well. Right, power. We got to get some stars. Okay, so now we're out of fuel. We just, we just glide. And we hope as we get stars, this bar might go up. Or we'll just end our run without collecting any more stars. Fair enough, game. All right, sod this. I'm just going straight up in your face, game. I'm going as high as I can go. Oh, space stars. Congratulations, you found the space stars. They give you more cash. Oh, if I'd known that, I would have come up here ages ago. All right, so they give us 25 quid every single time. So well worth trying to get up there straight away. Uh, sadly, it appears like we're falling to our death. Still, I think I've worked out how to get the furthest distance now. So we just do a little bit of that. We go up for half a bar. Then we tap the star thing. So that's going to boost us pretty far. That's making us go higher as well. We want to be sort of below 25 meters. That's where the jet stream is. All right, now we're cruising. So now we hit that and we just go as fast as we can. Oh, I tell you what, the cranes, you know, the cranes give us boosts. I think that slows us down. If there was a way to undo that upgrade, I would definitely undo that one. Because look, speed is going so fast, 79 meters a second. But if we hit a crane, it's going to drop down potentially. Still, I have an idea. I have an idea. We'll buy some mega boosters. Yeah, 10 of those. Then we'll get the magnetic paper. Yes, please. And then I'm tempted to use the hyper fuel. I may as well give it a go. So that turns your fuel silver, making it last twice as long. Uh, so essentially, I'm going to go up into space. So straight up, I'm using my fuel to get up there. And then I'm going to use these boosts. So we're up into space. All right, where's my magnet? Where's my magnet? <laughs> no, I was going to use my magnet and my rainbow. We're stalling. Come on, up into space. Up into space. All right, there we go. There we go. All right, now can I magnet? Why does the button disappear? Okay, well, anyway, we won't do it in space. We'll just do it low down. So magnet, rainbow. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That is what we like. That is what we like to see. Sadly, we are in the jet stream now. Not ideal at all. But we got a lot of fuel. So let's see how fast we can go, even though we're in the jet stream. 80 meters a second. Let's hit our other booster. We're up to 100 meters a second. <laughs> so fast oh wow i'm just cracked 2000 meters with 15 meter altitude remaining this is gonna be a record i tell you that oh yes 4500 meters aka three grand right so we're on day 120 i've got all the upgrades and utilities that i can so let's see how this gets on so up magnet that fuel so to start off we got the stars coming in that's gonna that's gonna make us go a bit further i don't want to go too high i might actually Let's head back down, down to about 25 meters. That is below the jet stream right now. Now we boost. And not only that, we've got this boost up the top. So we'll boost that one as well. We're up to 93 meters a second at 14 meter altitude. Oh, but the crane slowed us down to 15 meters a second. Why do you do this, crane? Why do you do this? So we're going to throw ourselves back into the air with the other bonus thing. And let's see what distance we can get to 2,400 meters. That wasn't great. Anyway, I feel like I need to use the hyper fuel. That will save me. I don't know if I can do the magnetic paper at the same time. Right, so we need to do a throw. We need to press that one, press that one, press the rainbow. So that's going to give us the initial boost. So every star we get, we're going further and further. I don't want to go too high, actually. I want to stay below the jet stream. We've got to get to about 25 meters. That's good. All right, stars are still coming in. We've got all this fuel, which is silver fuel. Uh, so if we start boosting, we use this or well, half as quick, which hopefully means we can go twice as fast as usual. I mean, sadly, the cranes keep getting in my way. We're only up to 35 meters a second. That was a fail. Anyway, as long as we don't hit another crane, I'm feeling pretty confident we'll get a new length record. Who'd have thought engineers would hate cranes? So coming up to 3,000 meters. Uh, we'll give ourselves another throw as well. Why not? So 3,153 meters, not our record. 100 meters a second, 120 meters a second, 140, 150 meters a second, 170 meters a second. 
Right, and then hit that boost as well. 196.8 meters a second. That's by far the fastest we've got. Look at our distance. We're going so fast. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, we're just under 5,000 meters. If we can use our final little throw to get another 100 meters, we will crack 5,000 meter distance. Yes, come on. Come on. We've done it. We've done it. Oh, I've been playing this for hours. But look at that. New record. Distance traveled 5,050 meters. And we got four grand for it. Well, of course, I'm going to watch an advert. And that's better. That's much more deserved. We've got five grand in the bank out of one throw. We've also collected nearly a hundred grand in money. But more importantly, we got our letter to Santa. So we should be waking up tomorrow a very happy engineer. All right, guys, that was Flight. Boost like button if you enjoyed. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys next time. Have a good happy holiday. Bye.